Bagging a bargain is usually the name of the game when traipsing the web in search of luxury holiday destinations. In spite of this, there's a multitude of luxurious travel options that beg you to throw that budget flying out the window. Today, we have compiled the top seven most expensive holiday destinations to nudge you a little closer to putting luxury before those precious pennies. Just repeat these words before entering your card details. You only live once. You only live once. The most expensive holiday destinations. Number seven, Paris. Paris has earned a reputation for being a city of love. Owing to the big city's cafe culture, nightlife, bakeries, wine and cheese paired with the iconic Eiffel Tower, especially at night. From history buffs to architecture aficionados and sightseeing tourists, Paris means different to every type of traveler, and they usually find what they seek at a high price. Being lavish and romantic has tagged tourist spots and hotels in Paris to be pretty pricey. Many historic castles and homes that are turned to hotels and quaint living spaces charge a hefty price for the French experience. Hotel George's V Paris gives an unobstructed view of the Eiffel Tower from its penthouse apartment balconies and charges $26,500 per night to the romantics who can afford it. While a lot of Paris is made of dirty streets and homeless beggars, the tourists are the banks for the places to make money, and they charge accordingly. Best time to visit. The best time to visit Paris is from April to June and October to November, when the weather is good and enjoyable. During these months, the tourist crowds are smaller than summer. The cheapest time to visit Paris is off-season during December, January, and February. Most of the tourists like to visit Paris in June. Number six, Fiji. Fiji consists of a series of 332 islands and is known for being a popular tourist destination as a serene island retreat and covered in natural beauty. For all its serenity and exclusivity, Fiji charges heavily for a special private vacation to its remote private islands, which are overpriced by its owners, individuals, or resorts. The volcanic island of Matangi provides a luxurious escape with its beaches, rainforest hikes, and a water activity like snorkeling and diving, but at a similarly lavish price of $600 a night. Even Matangi is cheaper than the Laukala Island Resort. A night at the hilltop villa on the private island of Lakala costs a whopping $44,000. You even need the owner's permission to vacation on this private and lavish property. Best time to visit. November to April. During November to April, weather is hot and humid and prices are high. May to October. During this period, the weather is dry and mild. October to November is considered the best time to visit Fiji because prices are reasonable. There are fewer crowds and the weather conditions are dry settled and pleasantly warm. Number five, New York City. New York City, New York is one of the most famous cities in the world with being a cultural center of the US and a hub for finance, business and artists alike. It's almost a tradition to visit New York at least once while traveling to the US in your life because the city that never sleeps has a different atmosphere entirely, that of culture, some pollution and a lot of money. In addition to Wall Street, only the financial capital the tourism thrives with its reputation of culturally iconic places in the city, and the travel and stay can cost a fortune. Rates for a luxurious hotel start at $730 a night, while the average price for a hotel is $350. While food, a $1,000 Sunday, for example, and the long, busy travel pile up the costs of staying in the city. Even the millionaires who live there can get just a rather lavish apartment. Best time to visit. The best time to visit New York City is considered from April to June and September to early November. Visiting New York is expensive, and if you're looking for a cheap visit, then you must visit New York from mid-January to the end of February. Number four, Bora Bora. This tiny island in French Polynesia is the vacation spot for celebrities and elites with its beautiful beaches, resort, and luxurious treatment at the resorts. With $800 a night for starts and an exorbitant travel bill, Bora Bora provides more of a social status satisfaction than experience. Many other neighboring islands are similarly exclusive, secluded, and beautiful, but with lesser luxurious amenities and at nearly half the cost, travel excluded. The prices vary with the travel season and crowd, but it is cheaper between December and March. Best time to visit. The best time to visit Bora Bora in November and April. These short shoulder seasons offer amazing weather with temperatures in the mid 70s to mid 80s. From May to October considers as a high season when rain showers are isolated and the number of tourists swells. Number three, Dubai. Definitely not known for simplicity, 
This Middle Eastern city of modern excess lies in the middle of the desert, but boasts almost all kinds of luxuries one can imagine. Dubai is known for its gigantic hotels, mega resorts along the coastline, shopping centers with almost all the expensive branded items imaginable, and several other ways to spend your money, including buying some of the most expensive holidays for yourself. The best hotels in Dubai cost around $20,000 a night, and that's just for staying there. Best time to visit. Winter months, November to April, are the best time to visit Dubai. If you are interested in Dubai Shopping Festival, you must visit during January and February. Number two, Musha K. Musha K is one of the 11 islands in Copperfield Bay in the Caribbean, and you cannot rent a hotel room on it, but you must rent the entire island for nearly $40,000 a night. Certainly, these exumas or out islands of the Bahamas are a destination for the elite and famous, including Ernest Hemingway, and David Copperfield. You can invite up to 11 people to your rented island, and all the gourmet meals are paid for with the price. Additional activities include fishing, diving, and several more in the seclusion of nature. Best time to visit. For the best weather, to visit the Musha Kay is during winter, from November to April, when temperatures in most visited areas average a balmy 24 degrees Celsius, or 75 degrees Fahrenheit, with fairly constant and cooling easterly trade winds. Number one, Oslo. Norway has a reputation for being the most expensive country in Northern Europe, which includes several other well-off countries as well. Norway's citizens live a well-off life with high wages, and the wealth of the country significantly comes from the tourist sector, which is priced higher than most of the countries in the world. Similarly, the nation's capital, Oslo, follows suit of being expensive to the tourists in terms of hospitality, food, and even transportation. But in return, Oslo is clean, safe, and easy to get around, even if you know just English. Apart from the charming row houses and appealing city life, the nearby scenic mountains and the flawless fjords are a sight that makes the vacation worth its money. Since the tourist industries that charge 70% higher prices than world averages in general, it is difficult to travel economically in one of the most expensive cities in the world and may not fit everyone's dream budget. Best time to visit. Best time to visit Oslo is the warmest months between May and August. The temperatures rise, the flowers bloom, and you can experience nearly 24 hours of daylight. The famous midnight sun usually occurs sometime in June or July. To increase tourist activity around these places, there are some planned trips available with discount offers in the off-season. Taking advantage of such offers can get you to visit these places right under your budget. So, these were the destinations that made our list. What do you think about these beautiful areas around the world? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please like this video. And for more videos, subscribe to the channel.